of Hollywood's biggest names come to work every single day. This timeline of Universal Films, you'll notice movie posters on either side of the tram. These represent just a few of the thousands that we've made. Oscar winning dramas, blockbuster comedies, classic horror films, action, adventure, you name it, we've made them all. Our rich legacy of filmmaking started here in 1914 and continues until this day. But the most important date in our history is March 15, 1915. That was the day our founder, Carl Leveling, decided to open up the doors to the public to watch movie making firsthand. Dubbed by Mr. Lemley, the strangest city in the world. Universal City was founded with and still has a fire station, which is over here on your right. We have a sheriff's station, medical services, even our own zip code. The only difference between your city and ours is, this is dedicated to making TV shows and movies. Trying to sponsor me for Universal Films as we head down the timeline. I'm a big One fan of, of horror favorites. movies, and we did invent the horror movie genre, brought you timeless classics like Frankenstein, Bride of Frankenstein, The Mummy, The Invisible Man, all which shot right here on our line. In fact, two of these classic horror films, Dracula and Frankenstein, they both filmed inside the sound stage coming up on your left-hand side. We're approaching the front lot. Here on the front lot, we have 28 sound stages. On the left, sound stage 12. Outside of 12, there's a large painted logo. Stage 12 is currently home to NBC's hit singing competition, The Voice. Shoot all the big stuff out here. Exterior scenes on a very large scale. Most of the buildings you'll be looking at tonight are what we like to call facades. They're just the front and the sides of the building. We only build what the camera going to see. Your imagination fills in the rest. We have practical sets on the lot as well, meaning it has a full interior. We can film shots inside and out. I'll show you different examples. Things are made with lightweight materials. Here on the metro sets, the buildings are over 50 feet tall, and a lot of them are built with a technique called forced perspective. So the higher up the buildings go, the windows, they'll become a little bit smaller, but each level, the higher the building gets to create the illusion on camera that the buildings are as tall as the real ones in a big city, like let's say New York City. Hey, I'm walking here! I'm walking here! Hey, it's cool, guys. I was just, you know, I was just walking there. So it's not exactly New York, but a lot of times when you see New York in the movies, it was shot right here on the Universal Metro sets. If you can make it here, you can make it anywhere. Even if you make it here on the Universal lot. Our Metropolitan sets have been featured in blockbuster films like Transformers, Captain America the First Avenger, Amazing Spider-Man starring Andrew Garfield, The Fate of the Furious, the last Fast and the Furious film. Our Metro sets are featured in TV shows like House, How I Met Your Mother, The Mindy Project, Heartbeat, Key and Peel, Amer American Ninja Warrior, Brooklyn Nine-Nine. Pop stars have filmed scenes for their music videos on our sets like Britney Spears, Lady Gaga, Taylor Swift, Justin Bieber, Chris Brown. Like I said before, Hairspray Live, they took over all these sets and turned them into 1960s Baltimore. Visual information, that number of pixels, and presenting them to the audience, it's a hell of a line. Okay. Now, we have created this 3D immersive experience, so you're going to have to have your glasses ready. Don't put them on yet. Okay, just okay. have them in your hand, because we're about to enter to Skull Island. How am I going to get scared? Huh? How am I going to get scared? We really put a lot of thought into the character and personality of Cole. And he's so much more than a monster. I think he's not a monster. You know, he is an incredibly majestic, ancient creature. He's a force of nature. He's old, he's wise, he's proud, he's fierce, and obviously he has a heart. The most important feature with Kong are his eyes. Kong's eyes are wonderfully expressive. They're, they're, they're full of emotion. His eyes are like a window into his personality and his heart. He's had um, an enormous number of encounters with his foes, the T-Rexes and the various dinosaurs on Skull Island, so he's been beaten up, scarred.
cars, their golf carts with an outer plastic shell. Our transformers take down the ways made out of plywood. We have two new picture cars here on the lot, one from Jurassic World. We have the Gyrosphere, and next to it, one of the picture cars from the Feet of the Furious, the last Fast and the Furious film. Even this tram we're on right now is a picture car. Dinosaurs are not the cages. Look out, car one, car two. Oh no, I'm so sorry. I had no idea. A lot of these trees we're passing by are set pieces from the film. So we have a green department here on the lot. We'll make us any kind of tree. Set piece we're going to for the Jurassic Park films. In the Jurassic Park films, the visual effects, they play a key role in bringing our dinosaurs to life. Using CGI or computer generated imagery, we can digitally insert images we need to onto a screen. You see in the movies all the time. On your left hand side, we're traveling through old Mexico. The set on the left was used for Big Fat Liar, starring Amanda Bynes, Frankie Muniz, and Paul Giamatti. Also, for the three amigos with Chevy Chase, Mark Short, and Steve Martin. And you can also see a couple props on set. A prop is anything held or touched by an actor on screen. It can be anything as small as a paper clip or as large as a grand piano. Here on the lot, we have an entire building filled with props. It's called our property department. All the filmmakers do is to go in, rent whatever they need for their production. It's like a giant library for props on set. There's a shark, it's coming right towards you. George? Okay, uh, everybody just uh, stay calm, remain in your seats. back there. I think we're gonna need a bigger tram. Jaws, 
Steven Spielberg's mechanical shark, it did not work with him the way he planned it. On the first day of filming Jaws, Spielberg's shark sank right to the bottom of the ocean. They ended up nicknaming the production Flaws, because all the constant problems they kept having on set. That's a part from the line of shark. The shark was frustrated. It didn't really work all the time. It didn't work hardly at all. Wherever you were on the island, you could hear the radio They were always saying, the shark is not working. The shark is not working. We just waited around. We just waited and waited and waited. The shark was little enough for a while there. Steven Spielberg nicknamed his mechanical shark Bruce after his attorney. And if you've ever seen Disney's Finding Nemo, the great white shark in that film is named Bruce to an honor Spielberg shark Bruce. The cactus, and as charming as it is, Mr. You're a bad banana with a greasy black Unfortunately for the Who's, they had to put up with more than just a Grinch. Out here on the back lot, they live next door to a psycho, Norman Bates. Motel and the Psycho House on the Hill are two of our oldest standing sets here on the lot from Alfred Hitchcock's classic thriller, Psycho. Take you from two of our oldest Danny sets here in London. Enter our most spectacular Steven Spielberg's War of the Worlds crash site set. This is a real airplane. It cost $60,000 for the airplane itself. It cost over $200,000 just to get it here on the lot. Now we are about 10 minutes away from the end of the tour. Remember, if you need my assistance, reach up and grab the red emergency cord located overhead. The airplane press site set is a perfect example of a set that is all designed around a vision of Stephen. When we first began to sit down to talk about War of the World, I thought, what if the 747 goes down right in a big neighborhood? Because it's, it's just something you don't see. You're doing good. You're doing good. Keep it close to me. That's me. Come on, listen, I want you to close your eyes, okay? Okay, I'm closed. Mommy. Robbie, get in. Get in. Another airplane recently used on our lot for filming was the one for Sully with Tom Hanks. As we exit the crash site set, take a look to your right and you'll see this huge blue wall. We call it Falls Lake. It's great for visual effects. Just like a green screen or a blue wall works the same way. All we have to do is digitally insert images we need to onto the backdrop using CGI, computer generated imagery. We usually add water in front of the wall to create scenes like this. Evacuate. Alright everybody, we gotta make a quick detour inside this garage. Our tram's running out of gas, so we don't wanna run out on the way back up to the theme park. Just a minor detour. <laughs>
Bim. That's right, party's over. You know how long I took to iron this shirt, man? I'm, I'm not. You're under arrest right now. Ladies, let's, let's, let's back up a little bit. Got it. Slightly. First of all, I don't work for you. Oh, really? Well, tell me, Roman, who do you work for? We don't work for nobody. How about you just clear out of here? Otherwise, we can't guarantee your safety. Guarantee my safety? I'm the one holding the gun. Yeah, but mine's a whole lot bigger than yours. I'll just escort this now, this out. Let's go, Cookie Puss! You got an ugly suit on, man. It's cheap. Somebody out there really pissed off Shaw. It's gonna get ugly fast. Yeah, don't worry. Lucky for you, our whole family will protect you. Are you kidding me, Roman? You didn't shut off your phone, bro? I gotta call you back. I'm just, I'm gonna go to See what I'm talking about? Call you back. Man. It was on vibrate. Sure, I traced us. I just can't hold forever. Letty, Roman, we're up. <sighs> Try to move that vehicle. It's about to get real interesting. Here in the number 21, I thank you guys for joining us here today at the world famous Universal Studios Tour. I also want to give a big round of applause to our driver, David, for driving us a lot today. On behalf of David, myself, and everyone here at NBC Universal, we hope you've enjoyed your exclusive behind-the-scenes Hollywood experience.